This is a text conversation that completely generated by AI in an attempt to book more appointments for my marketing agency. And if you're going to stick till the end of the video, I'm going to show you the process of setting it up step by step and the exact workflow and prompt to actually copy and paste straight to your agency. So let's quickly jump to the computer screen here, guys. I want to show you the exact flow and conversation first before setting it up. So it start off by the AI messaging me. So they say, hi, Rico, thanks for showing an interest in our real estate digital marketing service i love to chat with you about how we can help your business grow can we schedule a quick call you can easily book an appointment at this link looking forward to hearing from you and then this is me replying okay what do you do and the ai replied glad you asked we made digital marketing for real estate so easy even your grandma can do it no offense to your grandma she sounds awesome but seriously let's get you booked for a quick chat so we can help you crush it when it comes to the real estate game click here for more info so it really get into a sense of humor there and i reply i'm not sold on it Right, and the AI said, hey Rico, thanks for touching base again. Totally get it, being sold is something that can be tough, but hey, let's have a chat and see if we can change your mind. I promise it will be worth it. Book an appointment at this link. Let's see what we can do for you. And I, you know, I just go with the no more objection. How much does it cost? Uh, hey Rico, again, great question. Booking an appointment with us doesn't cost anything, but not booking one might cost you an opportunity to level up in your real estate game. So let's have a chat here, see how we can help you. Here's a link. Too busy, man. Pissed off. No worry, we can totally understand the busy life, but wouldn't it be hilarious if we could add the meeting of the coolest real estate digital marketing agency into your to-do list. Plus, it's only take a few seconds to book the appointment on this link. So you can see here, the AI actually understand the contact of the conversation is understand objection um, you obviously can cater um, the response based on the prompts and the temperature which I'm going to show you that in a second but this is amazing guys this is the new opportunity in 2023 where you actually don't have to hire expensive appointment setter or expensive virtual assistant to take care of this for you they either do that completely for you and on automation as well so let's go ahead and start setting it up from scratch. Now, if you're new here, we are using GoHilo as a platform to integrate with ChatGPT. And if you don't know what GoHilo is, just check our other YouTube channel. We go in depth about this sort of topic. But GoHilo is the best marketing platform in my opinion. And there's so much that you can do to it aside from integrating it with ChatGPT, which is already awesome by itself. So the first thing that you wanna navigate to guys, is come to automation, come to workflow and create a new workflow, okay? And you want to start it from scratch. And we want to do a few housekeeping here, okay? So you want to set up your first action without any trigger. And then you want to navigate to this action, which is called ChatGPT. And it has this ground icon, meaning that it is a premium action, meaning it's going to cost you some money to actually do this action. But it is really just three cents to get a reply, an action from ChatGPT, which is obviously a lot less than hiring an actual person to do it. So just a quick disclaimer here, you do need to turn this on. So if your account is completely new and you first time click on it, uh, we will ask you to actually turn on the AI workflow on your company setting. So when you click on to the action, there's actually a lot of examples that you can mess around with, but I'm going to be sticking with insert a prompt, all right? And you know, I'm gonna show you the exact same prompt to generate that conversation. But uh, I wanna show you the temperature, okay? So temperature is very important. So it's gonna rank from zero to one. So 0 0.1 on a scale with closer to the zero mark mean that it will get the AI to generate response that is more conservative, more accurate, to the prompt. And on the other hand, 0 0.9 and any scale that is closer to one is training the AI to give you a response that is more creative, more out of the box, more like playing with fire, if you know what I mean. So you obviously can change the temperature here by just type 0 0.9 or 0 0.2, 0 0.1, right? Just really just keeping it um, between zero to one. So let's dive into the actual prompt sky. You are an appointment setter for a real estate digital marketing agency. Your goal is to send a short, casual message to lead coming in from Facebook ad and get them to book an appointment on user calendar link. So this is really amazing guy because you can put in a custom field in there. That means the opportunity and the possibility here is pretty much infinite. You can get the AI to play with so many things 
based on your custom field and your custom value. So go crazy with it and actually comment below what sort of cool idea you have in terms of prompt like this. So the next phrase of the prompts is to start the conversation addressing the lead first name, which is contact first name. Okay, that's why the conversation that you read is always, hey Vico, hey Vico. So I would recommend um, remove that out on the um, second reply and third reply. Um, definitely something that I will learn myself as well. So just to give you an idea of the scale and the temperature that we just mentioned, this is the 0 0.9 once you set it in. It say, hey Vico, I noticed you recently interact with our Facebook ad for real estate digital marketing. Are you interested in learning more about our service? We, we love to chat with you and discuss how we can help you grow your business, book your appointment at this link. Looking forward to hearing from you. And this is 0 0.2, which is on the other side of the spectrum. Hi Vico, thanks for showing an interest in our real estate digital marketing agency. We love to have a chat with you about how we can help your business grow. Can we schedule a quick call to discuss your need? We can book an appointment on our website here. So honestly, just reading through it from a human perspective, I don't see that much different. Um, I don't think 0 0.9 is that um, much dangerous to play with. So I really recommend that you actually test it out with a few friends before launching it to an actual active campaign. Now, just a quick disclaimer here, this feature is completely new to Go High Level. I think it's only open in the last 24 hour. So we obviously haven't implemented real life with our agency. This is just a test. So as you can see here, guys, I have built the entire workflow that caused a loop. So technically what that means is that this conversation will go on and on forever. So let's start off with the actual trigger guys so um, I would recommend that you trigger it off based on a Facebook lead form getting submit TikTok lead form getting submit survey or any kind of form is submitted and then the AI can pick it up from there so obviously that's not the limit you can use any other trigger but just based on the prompt that I'm showing you on this video it's best that it based on any sort of form being submitted in the first place so as of now I'm gonna leave the trigger field empty I'm gonna let you guys pick your own trigger based on what needed so the first step is the chat GPT prompt I'm gonna set mine up from 0 0.9 from the start and as you probably know by now which is saying you an appointment set and your goal is to book an appointment using this link and make sure that you address the lead by the first name and the second step is the SMS and what new here is under custom value you can go to chat GPT and you can select the previous prompt now this is only work if you have chat GPT prompt in the previous step before this SMS step so um, we selected this here and we go ahead and save this action. Now the next step is very important here guys. You want to pick the action, wait for reply, and then you want to be setting reply to from SMS from ChatGPT1. Okay. Now just to clarify for those of you who are new, this action is from the wait action. Okay. And then instead of time delay, you want to scroll down to contact reply and then pick the SMS from GPT-1. So the next step is condition. You want to be letting the system know whether the customer have replied to the text or not. So what you want is that you want to have a branch that say condition equal true and another branch that say condition equal false. So true mean that the customer have replied and false mean they haven't replied. Again, for those who are new here, you want to go to the plus icon and search if or l right and then you want to select a branch right the first branch that you want to do is contact reply and then you want to say contact reply and then you would pick a condition between true and false. So that's how you set that up, okay? Hey guys, real quick here. If you're just checking out what Go High Level is as a platform or SaaS, software as a service, as a business model, I want to invite you to visit our absolutely free course on how to set up everything from scratch in a matter of hours and get your first 10 clients in a matter of 30 days. And because we are an official partner with Go High Level, if you use our referral link, you get an extended 30-day trial instead of a 14-day trial. And on top of that, you will get access to our premium snapshot and it is a template that you can just install straight to your account with a matter of just one click. And obviously that all come pre include with our bonus such as private Facebook group, weekly call and hands-on support. And if you're already an existing Go High Level user, make sure you also check out the link below to upgrade to the 497 plan with our existing customer link and to get access to our bonuses and our premium snapshot as well. So let's get back to the video. So now that we have two options, we're going to start off with the true so that mean 
this person have reply. And then the second prompt is saying that you are an appointment setter. It's pretty much the same thing here. And the goal is to book an appointment using this link. The lead has replied with this message. And then we insert the custom field, which is the uh, message body. So, so you want to come to this tag icon and click message and then message body, okay? So that is the reply from the uh, previous response, okay? And this is really powerful because this can go on and on forever, right? And then please send a humorous and casual reply to get them to book through this link. Again, guys, you can change this prompt and get your AI to say different thing in different personality based on your style and your business. So the next step is SMS. Just make sure that this time you base it on ChatGPT3 respond, right? We're basing it on the three respond. Again, guys, the next step is waiting for reply. And this time we're waiting for reply of an SMS. And the next step, guys, is to create a feedback loop. Again, for those who are new here, you want to go to the plus icon and search go. Go to step, all right? And then pretty much select that action. And then you can link this step back to the original step, which then create a loop. So what that means is that once you get that response, you send an SMS and then you reply and then it create a loop that come back to chat GPT prompt if they reply. Now let's move on to the second branch of our condition, which is customer reply equal false. So what that means is that when the AI text them, they just don't respond, which is happen all of the time. So what that do is that we're going to wait for 45 minutes, right? And then we're going to give the system a different prompt. This time we say the lead has not replied, send a short follow up text using less than five to seven words to get a response again and putting it at a 0 0.9 and then go ahead and save. And then we set an SMS again, make sure that the SMS is putting the respond of chat GPT six, which is the um, prompt of the previous step. And then after that, it go back to the condition, which asking them if they have reply or not. If someone doesn't reply, it create a loop. It just keep message them and message them until they reply. So if they reply here, it will create a loop back straight to the chat GPT three response, which is incentivize them to book through the booking link. And then the flow will go on and on forever. So this is it guys. This is the workflow on how to set up chat GPT into your go high level account. I spent 45 minutes setting this up. So there's not going to be too much feature and too much condition yet into this workflow. For example, if someone book an appointment already, there's no um, step into taking them out of this workflow. So make sure that you take this tutorial and this workflow with a grain of salt. And obviously we're going to be upgrading this workflow and implement that into our agency in the near future. And if you want to get your hand to the finished version of this workflow, make sure that you check the link in the description and sign up to go high level using our referral link. And once you do so, this workflow will be already packed in our existing snapshot that we give out for absolutely free to all of our affiliates. Now, before you go, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video until the end you probably the 20 percent of the viewer who actually watch it through until the end and it would mean the absolute world to us by returning the favor and give back to the community by share this to another go high level expert and this is it vico kang your very own go high level ninja i see you on the next one hey guys if you enjoy watching the video make sure that you are also checking out this content right there